testing a new photographic focusing device called the Icon Focus. It's designed by a company called Tech Power. Tech Power pioneered the self powered crank radio. This is offered on NPR as a premium to its subscribers. They were the first company to integrate solar charging panels into radios. This is their entry into the camera accessory world. It's a pretty useful device. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little stir crazy after being home so much lately. It's been good for my state of mind to get out of the house right now to spend some time in nature. I enjoy seeing birds and flowers and butterflies and occasional wildlife like deer, turtles, and most recently, a bear. Now, I'm not typically a nature photographer, but there are so many interesting and beautiful things to see. I started photographing the great outdoors with my iPhone, and I got some decent shots and some okay ones. But I knew that I could get closer to the action with a telephoto lens. So my digital camera started coming with me on those nature excursions. Even with a professional autofocus camera and a high quality telephoto lens, I was missing shots. Often enough, by the time I'd raised the camera to my eye, the shot had changed or the focus was just a bit off. I noticed that I could see a lot more when the camera wasn't in front of my face. Our field of view, the area we see through the camera's viewfinder, gets considerably smaller when using longer lenses. The tiny frame within the viewfinder makes capturing a challenging subject even trickier. It's the same effect one gets when looking through a pair of binoculars or a telescope trying to track a fast moving object. It's tough to do. What if we could accurately capture the subject without having to rely on the viewfinder? That's the idea behind the AccuFocus. Their idea is we can make photographs without solely relying on the viewfinder. The AccuFocus is designed to make it easier to capture and focus on fast moving targets such as wildlife, and it's especially well suited for birding and other quick moving targets. The AccuFocus also excels at capturing subjects in low light situations. How does it work? The long story short is the AccuFocus is a laser projecting device. Mount it to your camera's hot shoe, run a quick calibration to line it up with the focus point in the camera's viewfinder, and then you're ready to go. When the focus point in the viewfinder and the AccuFocus laser point are aligned, then wherever the laser is pointed will be in focus when the shutter is released. That means we can literally point and shoot at anything the laser is aimed at without using the viewfinder. With the AccuFocus, a photographer only needs to aim the laser, click on the camera's focus button, and release the shutter button, and that's it. Wherever or whatever the laser is focused on is captured. AccuFocus is powered by two AAA batteries. Alkaline or lithium batteries are recommended. Simply insert the batteries, checking that the polarity is correct. There are two levels of power, adjust according to how bright the day is. The design is modern looking, sleek and modest, and it feels pretty sturdy. Batteries last a few days considering how long it's used and what power level it's set to. The AccuFocus is off to a good start. And as with any new product, there's room for improvement. Here are a few things I would like for future versions of the AccuFocus. Number one, expand the lasers, vertical and horizontal range in the calibration process. I wasn't able to get the laser point to align to the viewfinder's focus point in the middle of the screen sometimes. The laser point would get near the middle of the viewfinder's focus point, but not entirely there. This workaround is to move the viewfinder's focus point to wherever the laser is. So if the laser is only able to get a third of the way down to the viewfinder, then move the focal point up in the viewfinder to meet the laser. Number two, the Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is small and could be easily lost, especially outdoors. Is there some other way to adjust the alignment screws? A few practical tips. 
Before you, you start your shoot outdoors, check that the autofocus is in alignment. Even if it's recently calibrated, it may need a slight adjustment when you're out in the field. In conclusion, the key features are number one, fast tracking of subject by using a laser point. Number two, accurate and precise focus without looking through the camera's viewfinder. And number three, superior focusing ability in dark and low light situations. I like this product and have definitely improved my wildlife photography by using it. It's easy to use. There is room for some improvement on this product, but I have certainly got more hits from using it than not. If you want to get your wildlife and photography game up to speed more quickly, then you should give the AccuFocus a try. Thanks for listening.